Hello Taurus. This is your reading for June 15th through the 30th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, please like, share, subscribe, comment even. Okay. This is a love reading for Taurus. See what messages we get for you guys. What's going on around my Taurus friends? Five of Pentacles, feeling kind of hurt and rejected. Um, there's a situation I feel where either you guys um, feel like you made someone feel this way or this is the way that you guys are actually feeling. Um, and there's a situation here where you felt like you and this person would be together through thick and thin, okay? Regardless of what you went through, regardless of whatever you feel like, you felt like this was going to be um, a situation that would last for a long time here. What's challenging you guys here is the Queen of Cups energy, um, but this Queen of Cups, of course, has her hand over her cup, so she's not really extending her emotions at this point in time could be a cancer individual that is significant for some of you guys maybe um, you feel like this person does not care for you any longer or they're not willing to offer any emotions to you that they're still thinking about things that have happened uh, in the past with you guys here or again, vice versa. This could be you guys feeling this way about someone that, you know, you feel rejected by, you feel hurt by even. Let's see what the underlying issue is here. Three of Swords. Mm -hmm. You guys have been heartbroken. You are heartbroken. Very, very much so. There's something I feel like you want to discuss with somebody here. This is Aquarius energy. Um, wanting to talk about whatever happened between the two of you that left quite possibly both of you feeling hurt and rejected, disappointed in the situation here, okay? Let's see what was going on in the recent past. The Nine of Swords. There's been a lot of overthinking um, to the point where, you know, you're not really thinking clearly. This is Gemini energy. Mm -hmm. This is worrying basically for no reason. Let me rephrase that. Not for no reason at all, but making an issue bigger than what it actually is, which is telling me that there's something here that can be rectified, that can be worked on, but there is a need to have a conversation about the disappointment that you guys share is a thing. Key word here is a conversation, guys, because I'm thinking that, um, you know, you're just by yourself a lot thinking about things, replaying things in your head. And when you start like replaying things over and over again, you kind of change up um, the scenarios. That's a lot of cards here. But I tell you what, I do see the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Five of Wands. There's a lot of conflict here. A lot of arguing with the Knight of Swords energy right next to the Five of Wands. There was a very strong relationship here with this Ten of Pentacles energy. Um, I'm feeling like there, you guys are in a position where there's a lot of cards here, but the Two of Swords next to the Eight of Wands is like somebody's refusing to communicate. They're refusing to see things for the way that they truly are, making things bigger than what they actually are. Um, so somebody's refusing to communicate. Um, all somebody can think about, whether it's you or the other person, is all of the arguments that you guys have had in the past, but all in all, still kind of thinking about this very committed relationship that once was, is what I'm getting here, okay? So I'm going to put all of these cards back in here, it's too many to place down. Um, 
but I'm, I'm feeling like the heartache, the heartbreak, wanting to communicate, maybe feeling like the other person needs to reach out first, whether that's the way you feel or whether that's the way the other person feels. Okay, let's say your crowning thoughts here. I feel like there, there's a lot going on here. Things are not coming together like you would want them to. Your crowning thoughts here is the high priestess. Hmm. There's a lot that you're not saying. You guys are not speaking. There's a lot that you're not, you don't know about this person. Your crowning thoughts is you just don't really know what to do. You know how you feel, but not sharing it. Definitely not sharing at this point. Keeping it to yourself. Thinking over and over again. Replaying situations in your mind here. What's coming in for my Taurus friends? Ace of Wands. There's an opportunity to, um, to start something new here. But you're going to have to take the action to do so. That's what that is. This is the beginning of something here. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. There's a new start being presented to you guys. Okay. Let's see how you're viewing this situation. The Empress. You want to start over. You want to start over. Libra Taurus Aries energy. Could be another Taurus like yourself. Hmm. You definitely want to start over. But do you want to start over with this person or do you want to start over um, completely new? Let's see what the influence is here for you. There's that Ten of Pentacles showing its face again. Do you want this relationship back? I'm feeling like there's something that you are wanting to do as far as this relationship is concerned. This relationship is at the center. This is something that already exists for you. Wanting to put the effort in. Wanting to take action. Seeing the potential for longevity here. Hmm. Virgo energy there. Let's see. Your hopes or fears. Oh, and then I flipped over two cards. Your hope is that <laughs> you will be strong enough to avoid any more conflict. That you will not involve yourself in any conflict. Maybe there's somebody here who actually does have some anger issues. And maybe that's something that you feel like you need to deal with on your own. I'm, I'm getting that a lot of you want to have control over your anger. And not be affected by the conflict that somebody else may bring to you. And what I mean by conflict is like, you know, sometimes when people have um, anger issues, the slightest thing can set them off. So if somebody's questioning you and you feel like you don't necessarily want to be questioned, it's like, you know, cooling your jets and, and just, you know, responding in a way that you could be proud of. That you won't let your your emotions, your anger, just overtake you and then just blow things way out of proportion where you can't come back from it. That's what I'm getting here, okay, for a lot of you. Let's see what the overall is for my Taurus friends. What's the overall for my Taurus? Okay. Look at this. This is a page of swords. Hmm. Hmm. I think for the remainder of the month, you guys are still at a point where you are not fully speaking what it is that you want um, you're still trying to figure out is what you feel real is what you feel 
um, right for you what is right for you is like you know there's a lot of thinking going on here still for the remainder of June I do definitely feel that there is somebody that you guys want to be with but you're not sure if that person still feels the same way I think you guys are sharing this heartbreak um, but I, I do think that this is something that has happened in the past like I, I think this is like this heartbreak is more of the mistakes that I feel like you guys are owning to be honest with you this is not a recent breakup I don't feel this is like more of what I um, could have done or what I can do what I should have done kind of energy for me and really thinking that you know things will never be the same that kind of energy okay so um, Pisces Gemini uh, Leo's strong here another Taurus like yourselves Virgo Aries Libra uh, Aquarius energy Cancer is here Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.